So this is something we're never going to see in real life. Obama versus Trump. It's it's not going to happen. But let's see. What if it did? What if it did? I would like to just mention. Let's not take this too seriously. Okay, this is a this this is just a, a game. I don't know if anyone needed to hear that. The other people from the other videos definitely needed to hear that though. I mean, maybe my sarcasm just doesn't come through. But um, there's some pretty funny comments under the uh, predicting who will be the U.S. president when I did like Joe Biden versus Trump. I think some people just straight up think this is like my own map, my own electoral map, my own prediction exactly 100%. And uh, that I just I don't know how that happened. It did get pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if there's anyone in the world that would think uh, this this could play out. But, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. Point is, the game gets real crazy. Let's, you know, let's not dig too deep. This man is just dumb. Nice, Randy. Good old Randy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad that this man at least knows it's just a, it's just a game. He's just talking about the game. I just like him scrolling and I see someone say, Mexico. <laughs> I want to take this too seriously just to let everyone so here we go. They're starting off in their home states. Let's see where they go first. Now at the start, because things are going to change a lot, uh, there is a little bit of an advantage, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. We got 21 weeks to go, a lot of campaigning to do. I always like other little like heads like follow you around. It's so, it's so weird. So Illinois has a lot of state enthusiasm. It's actually like at the start, the only state that has enthusiasm. No one else cares. Everyone else is just like apathetic. Hey, they both pulling in about the same amount of money. That, that will obviously change too, but uh, 30,000 is start so the big one florida is leaning at least four percent uh towards the republicans but um i don't know enthusiasm also is on that side too of course they both got hqs here that's probably a pretty smart move we've got a republican hq in ohio and then obviously i think obama starts with one in illinois Ooh. All right, so North Carolina, there you go. Just like that, just like that, it's already back up for grabs. It's gray once again. Whoa, whoa, okay, so I don't even know. That was like overnight. This prediction is uh, completely different now. Trump's got a little newspaper out in Michigan and uh, Brock had one in Florida. So we gotta check those out to see like where there are, oh, they're having a little party out here in California. It's always weird to me in this game when like they go to like Alaska and Hawaii. Like, I, and it set up like an HQ too. Like, I don't see why they'd be doing that, but okay. Yeah, so like Alaska's three electoral votes and Hawaii is four, so I mean I don't know. I, it's the thought that counts, right? So that's, that's all it matters. So the first policy has been established, and uh, oh wait, okay, I don't know where the other one went. For a second there, New York was purple, so uh, I don't know. Now it's deep blue, so it, things are better now. Ooh, so Trump is hitting someone like New England. He doesn't care. So state enthusiasm does slowly change, I think, depending on how much activity each state is going on. So now like California, Florida, uh, this part, Midwest, New York, they're feeling pretty motivated. Even like randomly south. Dakota, which I'm assuming that's because of this HQ. That that helps out a little bit. Okay, we got two HQs right here in Louisiana and in Mississippi. Whoa, Donald Trump opposes drought assistance in California. Wow, that's an interesting political move there. Something going on. What is what is going on? I'll figure out that. Maybe there was some sort of fire that happened that I missed that event. I don't even think I need to make a comment about Florida going purple. It's going to be purple pretty much the whole time, I think. If it doesn't, if it's not, that's a really bad sign for the other person. And then I feel like these states kind of... It's they're they're also a toss up too, but I mean like they won't make a choice till a little bit later. Okay, here's the second big ideology purchase: energy independence. And uh, okay, well now I can't use this intimidator. That's right. So uh, Brock has an intimidator out there that is lowering enthusiasm in California, as if California. Why would you put it there? California was very dominant. Okay, whatever. California is really one sided, but okay. And here's the big moment. So uh, that looks like Amy Klobuchar. Okay, Amy Klobuchar. I barely even know who that is. All right, well that is the Democratic VP, the vice president. All right, and then Ted Cruz. Again, I'm a little disappointed. We have some wild ones in there, but they didn't choose some of the more crazier options that I, I've customized and put in this game. Oh, that's pretty bad. That is not a good sign. You don't want that if you're Trump, I mean. And this, uh, they a lot of these places still haven't chosen yet. We're halfway through. Let's check the polls. Yeah, 50% through, and uh, this has changed it slightly, but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I like this newspaper cover right here. Uh, it says Trump supports addressing this crisis just he supports addressing it <laughs> it's just written kind of kind of I maybe it's written exact i don't know oh i guess that's just how it is all around i oppose addressing so it's just no mention of it i guess there's voter id that's happening in arizona hold up okay now these newspapers are getting a little weird uh what okay that's strange I didn't think, okay, that's an interesting claim. Ouch, 12 points ahead in Florida. So, uh, Donald, man, that's uh, that's really bad news. And I've, I'm assuming it mostly has to do with the fact that like their top state issues has really changed a lot. Or actually, 
there's a lot of factors. Enthusiasm, 99%. What happened here? There definitely has to be like some events that we might have missed or something. Just like a massive catastrophe. I don't know. Okay, here's like his final. Is this the final uh, ideology purchase? So higher minimum wage. And then Donald is going with the fracking. Okay, here we go. All the states are starting to make their choices. Whole lot of purple back there. So like purple here. Okay, that doesn't really matter. That's kind of, kind of normal. Purple down here though, that's not a good sign. Louisiana? You don't want purple in the areas that shouldn't be purple. If that if that wasn't obvious enough, I guess. I guess I didn't need to say that. I don't know what the difference is between like 47 and 43, but then when you go actually into these polls... Whoa! All right, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can't trust the polls. That's... I guess that's what you gotta do. Ohio man gets tired of waiting at the hospital, steals ambulance, drives home. Florida men are clearly now migrating, I guess. Is Ohio gonna take over another game, though? I mean, Ohio's already taken over the world. I don't think we need any more examples of that. So this is another one of those areas that you don't want to be purple. New England, it's not good. At least not for Brock. You know, I, I, there's still some... This is, this is still really not good either. What is going on, actually? Oregon and Nevada? That is not supposed to happen. Allies pay fair share? Okay, I guess that's the last ideology. I wonder if he said that loud enough for everyone to hear. Every, oops, everyone. Just because you're blacked out on the map doesn't mean you're not here. I know you can hear that. I really feel like there should be like some DLC that open up these places because it's right there. It's so, uh, it feels natural. I want to run as like a commie ruler of Cuba. This is such a weird, like this is not supposed to, I don't, so no one knows what's going to happen on election night because th this is not normal. State enthusiasm is just all over the place and it's mainly at this part of the country for some reason. These places don't care at all. They're just like, you know what, let's just, let's just end this. Whoa, how did that flip in literally th three weeks this completely turned upside down now i don't i wouldn't trust it don't trust it i feel like this is only implemented just to like throw you off honestly definitely the ideologies that were chosen was a big deal like americans i guess had like different priorities oh but up here there's one percent chance that uh, the democrats will win just one though this nine percent up for grabs it's crazy this doesn't make any sense a new study on reverse psychology urges you not to read it because you wouldn't understand it anyways wait wait, wait what also this there are too many birds obama quoted as saying i will finally do something about it it's about damn time sick of these mother <laughs> anyone else sick of the surveillance system birds surveillance system about time it's about time and this is what the final map is going to look like washington is barely blue and then like everything else is really purple uh the democrats kind of got a better hold over new england slightly better hold not huge though protecting the environment you are really late sir really late oh last second florida last poll it's now red and let's begin so don't think this is going to change all that much we're probably going to see uh uh, okay, two, wait, oh, that's not too red. I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought those two countries going red, but that was just, yeah, New Hampshire. Okay, Virginia, whoa, I was gonna say, now I, I think Trump definitely has the advantage. Okay, he just won Florida, he definitely has the advantage. And he won Ohio and Tennessee. Okay, things are getting interesting. Ooh, I mean, that was, you have to win that. Brock has to win that if he wants to have, it. oh, is it over? Oh, it's over, I think. I think it's over. I mean, yeah, it's over. I don't, I mean, Minnesota going blue, that's fine, but it's not really going to make a difference. I think he loses something in the Pacific. Boom. He did, he did get South Carolina, uh, South Dakota. I, I don't think he wins Nevada or Oregon, right? Because he was purple, right? Be oh, oh, okay. He got Nevada. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm wrong, but it doesn't matter because it's already over. That at the beginning of the night, he was just doing super good with, he just kept winning those swing states in the East Coast. I mean, it was somewhat close though. It was somewhat, is this the popular vote up this way? Is that 3%? No way. I didn't even check. Yes. Obama, though, appealing to a majority of voters, failed to garner enough support to win in the Electoral College. Whoa. Whoa. And he won it by 3%. He spent m less money. I don't know if that would have really made a difference. I guess it would. He lost, even though he also used more ideological points. Interesting. Let me check these polls right here. So these are like the top issues. I don't know if that... I don't, I don't even know. Oh, and then there's score. I didn't even realize there was a scoring system. Trump only spent like 0.8% million sorry 0.8 million more so not not really a whole lot he did yeah a lot of ideological spending right here 25 points versus 16 dang he won by 6 million votes but he kind of got sweeped kind of in the electoral college wow this game just you can't it, you never really can tell i guess it just depends on, like the events leading up i think that's the biggest thing because it looked really one-sided for a second there how did florida just like at the last second just go straight for someone else when they were like up for 
grabs the whole time. If there's anyone else you'd like to see me put in this game, let me know. I think uh, there's still a lot of other opportunities. I mean, I could put myself in there, but that, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months just to name him Drew. Stormtrooper 501. Luxembourg lover. Queen of Europe. Mac. Joe Dover. Jaden Knoll. Rat Smacker 3000. I'm the real 06. Arian after a <laughs> Pan Qualafs. Duh. Zyluki. Riley A. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Seth A. Ballin' Like Stalin. Tyler B. Belovsky. Clovin. Militine. Pizza. Maxi G. Swiss Argo. Elijah Senpai. And LVC.